My name is Charlotte Appleby and I'm a couture dress designer from the UK. I actually design and make dresses for a living and when I heard that obviously we need to have uh, something made with fabric, little pouches for the uh, injured animals in the British fires, I decided to donate my space and put a big event together so that everyone could help out and produce everything that we need for the animals. Uh, we've done a two day event and we've had over 120 people operate the machines, cut the fabric, uh, do the pattern pieces, so it's been a full operation. Everyone's really pulled together. We're working with the uh, Animal Rescue Guild that have provided all the pattern pieces for all the animals and we've just had families come in, we've had kids that have also been helping out, um, so couples and you know, even some men have been sewing, so it's been amazing. And we've got a full operation happening, so I'm just going to show you around. So we've got some of the pieces that are being cut here. Uh, we've also got a huge livery of fabrics, which uh, have been they've come from all over. And then from the cutting section, they're going to be taken over here, and they get broken down into the different sizes. So we've got liners, we've got pouches, uh, some koala mittens, the back wrap. Then we go on to the sewing area. We've been making pouches for the kangaroos, the wallabies, the joeys. Uh, we've also been doing koala mittens, bat wraps, and uh, little pillows as well. Journey. Um, I'm one of the Craft Guild administrators, so I'm the one behind the scenes answering all of the questions, um, also helping to get patterns developed um, and distributed. Um, we're making medium sized liners for pouches. Uh, I'm sewing liners for outfit patterns. I'm making a liner actually, so inside out, and then we should have, hopefully, if all's to plan, we'll have no threads there and a nice finish of inside. Um, so I'm showing Isabel how to make the pouch liners. Turn it in at the top and then just top stitch up through and then that should be So here are some of the back pillows and we've kind of like got step by step so people know what they're doing and how to make them. Um, we've also got things like the back wrap, uh, which have also got the pillows included. I'm making a bit twist. Uh, with the cotton toilet sheet, taking the elastic off the edges of the toilet sheet so that we can make bat wraps. These are cotton flannelette for sure, so that they're going to be good for the bats. So these are the pillows for the bats. So we're getting some. And these are like mums. These are for the juvenile bats. They cuddle up to this little pillow, which becomes like their adopted mum, and um, then they get wrapped. So uh, we've even had people make these lovely little nests, as they made by hand. We've also got the uh, wallabies, we've got the 3D hanging pouches. This is an example of one of the 3D pouches, so that will actually get hung up. And then it enables them to go in there like through the day, they're not always in there but it kind of gives them a little bit of support. These are all made with 100% cotton on the inside, so we've had to really make sure we're sourcing the right materials. The liners, they have to be 100% cotton. So what's been nice is just using something quite soft and, you know, it makes it a lot better because it's going to be against their skin. So you usually have to have three liners per pouch. <laughs> so we've even got the very tiny ones which are these little ones here. And because we have a lot of animals like the little sugar gliders that obviously need something to kind of go inside, uh, there's been a rotation of people coming through. So people have been setting up with their machines and then they've been going. So we've been doing a bit of shift work. Okay, so everyone's kind of like staggered through the day. We've also got a tallying system here. And this really helps to keep track of what we've got, how many numbers. And so far we've been doing really well. <laughs> kind of help all those poor animals. So I said I was making pouches for injured wildlife because I do that every year. Um, and then 
I've joined a group on Facebook, which had a very large community, making pouches just to make sure that my bits and pieces were going where they were needed. And so then Charlotte emailed me and said she's going to organise a sewing bit. And so that's how it started, which is really nice of her to <laughs> lend us your space. Very safe to see all the animals, you know, and uh, there's so many people, you know, fighting the fire in the front, and we just do what we can. Yeah, I just believe, you know, if everybody do what we can, can make this world and society much better. And really touching, you know, seeing so many um, ladies come from people, even men, you know. I saw, I saw a walk my friend, uh, she brought her husband and she can, she can not serve, but her husband can. <laughs> I'm really glad I've got the skill yeah. to do something like this, so if you guys can help, come on and do it. It's a lot of fun. Everyone's donated a lot of their time over the two days and I've just been so grateful to make a difference, so thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.